The Interdigital Innovation Challenge is offering $175,000 in prize money to individuals or research teams that come up with the best new ideas in wireless. Teams were required to include at least one student, faculty, or staff member from a U.S. or Canadian university. The contest is administered by the UC San Diego Division of the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology. Interdigital Chief Technology Officer Naresh Soni was impressed with the topical breadth of the 15 proposals that made the semifinals. They range from radio modem processing to delivering uh, 3D multimedia over uh, wireless networks. And us being uh, innovating in, on the wireless technology side, this is very exciting. Cal IT2's director at UC San Diego, Ramesh Rao, believes that the Innovation Challenge offers a new impetus for wireless researchers to collaborate on projects of value to society. Because of the competition, you know, you let go of these boundaries about what is your project, what is your idea, and you kind of create something that is responsive uh, to a larger need. So I'm expecting that many barriers will be broken down. I'm expecting that many silos will get busted in the process of coming up with something that is a winning proposal. Rao and Interdigital Sony sit on the nine-member judging panel, along with top researchers from Brown, Rutgers, Stanford, and University of California campuses at Irvine and Santa Barbara. The private sector judges include San Diego serial technology entrepreneurs Michael Robertson and Martha Dennis. I wouldn't be surprised if um, among the contestants of this contest we find the next Qualcomm or the next Entropic or the next Biosat. If you look at the judges that are uh, part of this competition are you know, from different uh, universities and industry. And I think that that was uh, the rationale behind choosing Cal IT2. Interdigital has been around for more than 30 years, and the company's more than 300 engineers have developed some of the core technologies that defined 2G, 3G, and LTE wireless standards. In addition to doing our own research and development, we. Uh, we also form partnerships with other companies in the ecosystem, as you know, that we cannot do it on our own, and that includes uh, universities and industries. Cal IT2 developed a new software platform to underpin the innovation challenge. The uh, platform uh, was uh, pretty innovative. It had a uh, few elements that were interesting. The social element, uh, the openness, and ability for people to vote on this uh, different proposals. We took an innovative approach uh, to building this challenge. We wanted the applicants to pretend to be startup companies. Cal IT2 software developer Arindam Ganguly built the contest platform to reflect what is essentially a new approach to funding academic research. The challenge itself was entirely web-based with online submissions visible to the public. It also enabled public voting for 10 favorite finalists, mimicking the early bootstrap phase of technology startups through self-promotion. In a tight race, the Rutgers-based Datamizer team garnered 574 votes to win the Popular Choice Award and a $5,000 check. Cal IT2 also took an innovative approach to publicizing the contest, directly contacting all principal investigators on NSF-funded projects in the wireless field. We wanted to actually reach out and touch people through non-traditional channels from the publicizing of this through Google AdWords and even Gmail, placing ads in select locations, uh, to engaging the larger audience, you know, the popular choice. The success of the wireless challenge already has Cal IT2 exploring the use of its web platform for contests in other priority areas, including photonics, cyber infrastructure, and in Cal IT2's application thrust areas of health, energy, the environment, and culture. I would love to have sponsors uh, that want to partner with us on every one of these thrusts. As more researchers become aware of it, the Interdigital Challenge could offer a new vehicle for launching wireless companies, partly because they do not relinquish intellectual property rights to the contest. Already, the high-tech trade organization ConNexus San Diego has agreed to award free workspace to the winning team in its EvoNexus business incubator in downtown San Diego. Having a competition like the one that Interdigital and Cal IT2 are sponsoring it's just the right kind of stimulus that really 
fuels young wireless entrepreneurs to continue this tradition of wireless innovation. I would like to imagine that some of these teams who have even submitted an entry will go on to do something together, whether it's on that particular topic or not.